why do landlords hate you? Do not want to stay in the student accommodation that the universities provide. Why your landlord hates you? My landlord doesn't want to give me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy C. Esm. So today I'll be talking to you about why do landlords hate international students? Why? I've moved to the UK and my landlord doesn't want to give me his place for me to stay in. I do not understand this. I have just literally suffered and gone through a whole lot. Why doesn't my landlord want to give me this place as an accommodation? I need to rest my head. I am exhausted. I have been trying to move for the longest time. So I will answer that question for you. Your landlord hates you. Not really. That's a strong word to use. Doesn't really hate you. Landlording, if that's a word, is a business. They are also trying to put food on your table just as much as you are trying to find a place of comfort for you to better yourself and get a future for yourself. Okay, that's getting too deep. But what I'm trying to say is Stop the notion that your landlord hates you. These are the reasons that it may seem as though your landlord hates you. First of all, when coming to the UK, your landlord would ask you for about six months rent or a guarantor in the UK. So how on earth? How on earth are you supposed to find a guarantor in the UK when you just moved to the UK? Doesn't make sense. Um, but sadly, that is the only way that they can guarantee they will get their money from you. So you've come to the UK and you're looking for a place to stay. You've probably come with your family, your partner, and you do not want to stay in the student accommodation that the universities provide. Because most times, let's face facts, is a way expensive. And if you've spent so much money getting your visa, getting your um, university fee, you're trying as much as you can to save costs in every little way that you can. And obviously, one of those ways is by cutting down on cost of accommodation apart from cost and transportation and the rest of them. So you're looking for a place that you can be comfy enough and also pay an affordable price. So you like this, you found this place online, um, a good rent, a nice place, a good Good distance from university but all of a sudden the landlord is like um, excuse me what's your employment and you're like I literally just moved I do not have work I do not have nothing to show you but I promise you I will pay you can't blame your landlord for saying um, I can't work with a promise it has to be something more so basically what they usually ask you for is the six months up front yes. but say your accommodation is a thousand pounds that is looking for six thousand pounds a rent to pay your landlord up front because you do not have any proof of um, employment which is one of those bases that landlords usually give you a place without needing six months rent so you either show you have a pay sleep you have um, a proof of of employment which is usually your pay slip or your letter offer or if you're moving in from outside your biometric card and other things they can use to trace you if you end up not paying but as an international student you don't have this like I said you literally just come in so basically it appears that your landlord hates you because he's asking for a way he can guarantee your money because in the UK once you move in your landlord doesn't have a right to chase you out to tell you okay get out, you can't pay your rent, you've paid for one month, he doesn't really have the right to do that. There's so much more kind of guiding you as a tenant. So usually when the landlord has a full say in his property is before you move in. So in as much as it may seem as though they're being cruel to you, they're trying to cover themselves for a future. So they're looking past this time. So what if, okay, what if I allow this person into my property? What if I say, okay, yeah, that's fine. You pay one month. I am basing off my off this let with a promise. All he has in his hand or all she has in her hand as a landlord is your promise that I promise you I will pay. I will pay. Well, that's not enough. That is not enough. So before he says or before this landlord agrees to give you the key, he has all the right. Or she has all the time to leverage on asking you for as much proof as possible that you're going to pay. And one of those ways, sadly, is by paying more money or at least 
six months so that they know that you're covered for that six months that you're not going to just up and be like oh i can't pay for the next month oh i can't pay for the other month and another way which they try also to leverage if you don't have that money sometimes they say okay do you have a guarantor in the uk maybe a friend someone that can vouch for you someone that your landlord can hold responsible if you refuse to pay so if uh, you can't pay your rent or you've defaulted on three or six months and your guarantor is in the UK, that person that signed to say that, yes, I can guarantee this person, if they don't pay, basically what they sign is, I will take responsibility. And most times the guarantor is a resident of the UK and if it gets to that point that you can pay and they go after your guarantor, in the long run, it's going to affect your credit score, it's going to affect so many things regarding them. And why they insist that your guarantor should be in the UK is because they are within reach and the law is easier to implement on them if you default as the tenant that has been guaranteed, in quote. So basically, why does your landlord hate you? Your landlord doesn't hate you. Your landlord is only looking out to themselves because in as much as they have this property to rent and you have this need of an accommodation, it's also a business on their own part that if this person moves into my property and they can't pay the rent, which is actually a form of salary to them. So that's why it's quite difficult for landlords to lend um, to let your property to international students because they do not have any sort of backing in um, regarding no proof of em no employment and um, probably not enough money to cover the six months or a security deposit both the first and the last month and the six months rent and um, probably do they do not have a guarantor in the UK most people something else I needed to address most people will have a guarantor out of the UK. Why most landlords would not accept that is because if outside the UK, they can't really catch that person. Once you default on your rent, they can't really go after the person because the person is abroad. Um, it's easier for your guarantor to be in the UK. And that's why they usually insist on you having a guarantor in the UK. So basically, this video is just to say your landlord or the landlord doesn't hate you. It's Difficult for international students definitely to get accommodation even in this time um, Due to many reasons most people are trying to protect themselves so that I mean we've just come come out from a pandemic and most people have had to face um, tenants who have not been able to pay rent due to obviously the COVID situation losing their job and jobs and the landlords do not have a right to chase them out and obviously the landlords speaking to um, the landlords who have this as their full-time businesses have also suffered a loss. But I think there was a, there was a cover for in that regard for those landlords that had to face certain things. I'm not quite sure, but yes. Yeah. So guys, um, this is the reality of what's going on with difficulty renting an apartment, getting a house as um, an international student. Um, I'm hoping. Gradually, it gets easier and just so that you have in mind that before you come to the UK Make sure you have a guarantor in the UK and make sure you do not plan on putting that guarantor in trouble Make sure you are able to have at least six months rent. That is why um, I can't say this enough that you should apply to a university in a city that's quite affordable for accom um, accommodation wise um, Apart from obviously being a good city for your course so that you can be able to save at least six months rent if it comes to it that your landlord is asking you for six months up front you are able to give that or the security deposit of the first month or the last one you'll be able to give that as well just cover yourself as much as you can so that you're not feeling as though no one wants to look out for you or take you into or agree to let the property to you yeah why i actually chose to do this video was because i've received so many questions and um, requests and I've had people physically come up to me saying 
they've been around they've been staying in Airbnb most people come to the UK and literally they have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on Airbnb because no landlord would want to give them an accommodation because they do not have maybe they do not have enough funds they do not have a guarantor in the UK um, there is no proof that they'll be able to get their rent sorted no employment but obviously how can you get an employment when you literally just came anyways I'm going round and round that's all I wanted to address in this video thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe share and comment until next time my name is Andy C.S.A. <laughs>